To write the name for CaBr2, we first need to realize that we have an ionic compound here. We have a metal bonded to a nonmetal, so that's an ionic compound. Specifically, this is a binary ionic compound because we just have two different types of atoms. When we have a binary ionic compound, we use these rules to write the name. First, we write the name for the metal, that's the Ca, just as it appears on the periodic table. So Ca, that's calcium. And then we'll write the name for the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table again. We'll start with a lowercase b, and we'll replace the ending with IDE. So we'll cross this out and write IDE. So the name for CaBr2 is calcium bromide. If you were given the name and asked to write the formula, you need to realize that calcium is in group 2 on the periodic table, 2 plus ionic charge when it forms bonds, and then bromine, that's 1 minus. So each of these bromine atoms here forms a 1 minus ion when it bonds. We have a 1 minus and a 2 plus, so we need two of these here to balance the charge out. So that's how you find the formula when you're given the name. This is Dr. B with the name and formula for calcium bromide, CaBr2. Thanks for watching.